Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to talk about a 99 cents app that is called Starlight Fine Stars and Constellation by Gyrocade. So this is a 99 cents app if you like astronomy or even just you know looking at the stars and you're wondering. Uh, it's a nice little app for that. The app is 22 megabytes and requires iOS 6 or later so it works more on later devices but uh, as long as you have iOS 6 or later for iPhone, uh, iPad and iPod Touch. Optimized for iPhone 5 as usual for a lot of apps it's like that. So when you click on the Starlight you actually have a nice really nice app that will let you watch the sky. Now um, here it doesn't show in this uh, display on the screen but when you uh, actually turn your iPhone or iPad uh, horizontal it goes into um, you know that widescreen horizontal view so um, kind of a panoramic view and basically what you do you just point your phone at whatever object you're watching in the sky and you're going to have the object in question you just need to put the phone up so there's a lot of apps like that that actually do this job this one is a nice one I like the way also that the constellation show up as you are going into the sky where these constellations are that's very nice the way they draw uh, it's a beautiful app the colors are you know dark blue so it doesn't really change much of your viewing so this is really cool for that you can have information on constellations um, you also have information on stars you also have the uh, constellation mythology and horizon that you can turn on or off the app is extremely simple but it does the job that it's meant for um, just showing you the sky as it is and it's actually really nice so you just tap whatever star or planet you might see and it's gonna show you now it's not very detailed in its sky map that's one thing that's negative about it so if you're looking at stars uh, you might not actually have much detail on the regular stars but all the brightest stars and the moon and planets are well uh, shown so you can really click on them and check what they are but if I touch the screen on these other stars well nothing happens but if I do on Arcturus for example then it did work so it's limited in its um, stars catalog but at least you know what the sky looks like and um, especially I would say this app is especially good for uh, the brightest stars and uh, the planets moon and Sun um, I think this app could be quite nice if you are a urban dweller uh, because in the cities we don't see a lot of stars. we see the brightest stars we see the planets the moon and the Sun and since these are the ones that are actually named and you can get information about them um, it's actually um, an app that could be good for that but if you're a um, you know amateur astronomer or if you want to have more details this app unfortunately is extremely uh, limited in the information that you actually get from the stars so um, it might not be the one for you for 99 cents um, there are other apps that are a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine that actually do a better job if you need to uh, understand what are the stars that you're watching and you need names of the different stars in the sky map. So um, depends on what you want to do, but for ninety nine cents it is a nice little app and gives you the details on the objects that are the most um, luminous in your sky and the planets. If you like our app reviews, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have an app that you'd like us to talk about. Why not let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And hopefully you'll come back to the iPad apps for Slick channel. Bye-bye.